Lightning Express from a depot so grand has started out on its way. Most all the passengers who were on board seemed to be happy and gay. Except a little boy in a seat by himself, a reading a letter he had. Was plain to be seen by the tears in his eyes, but the contents of it made him sad. The stern old conductor who came through the train, taking tickets from everyone there. Finally reaching the side of the boy, he gruffly demanded his fare. I have no ticket, the boy then replied, but I'll pay you back someday. I'll have to put you off at the station, he said, but he stopped when he heard the boy say, Oh, please, Mr. Conductor, don't put me off of the train. For the best friend I have in this wide, wide world is waiting for me in pain. Expecting to die in a moment and may not live through the day. I want to make mother goodbye, sir, before God takes her away. Mother was ailing when I left home and needed a doctor's care. I came to your city employment to find, but I could not find any work there. A letter from sister this morning arrived, mother is dying in bed. So that's why I'm asking to ride on your train, but I haven't some money to pay. A little girl sitting in a seat close by says, don't put him off, it's a shame. Then taking his hat of collection he made and soon paid his fare on the train. I'm obliged to you, miss, for your kindness to me. You're welcome, I'm sure, never fear. Each kind of conductor would come through the car. These words seem to ring in his ear. Oh, please, Mr. Conductor, don't put me off of the train. For the best friend I have in this wide, wide world is waiting for me in pain. Expecting to die any moment and may not live through the day. I want to make mother goodbye, sir, before God takes her away.